Hey everyone, Hermano here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install MX Linux on VirtualBox with guest additions. So the first thing you want to do is go to the MX Linux website, mxlinux.org, and click on Download MX Linux. Here you have two choices how to download MX Linux, direct download and torrent. If, for example, you click on Mirrors here, and scroll down the page, you can choose the country you're in and download the appropriate version. So in my case, I would download, for example, the x64 version. And once you've done that, we can close up this window here and pull up VirtualBox. And we can create the new machine. So we'll click on New. And I'll give the name MX Linux. And since MX Linux is Debian-based, I'll choose here on the list Debian 64. I'll give the machine four gigabytes of RAM and click create and i'll bump up the disk to 64 gigabytes and click create now a couple of steps still uh, under settings i will go to the system tab and processor bump up this to two i'll give the display the max memory 128 megabytes and enable 3d acceleration as a graphics controller i'll choose here VirtualBox SVGA, as I had some problem with the VM SVGA driver in MX Linux. So I'll select VBox SVGA and then click on the Storage tab. Connect the ISO to the IDE controller. And under Network, I will go to Bridge Adapter and Allow All and click OK. Now I'm ready to start the machine, so I'll click Start. And I'll hit enter to select the first option here to boot into the live environment. And there you go. So we have a welcome screen here. I'm going to close this and we are going to click on the installer as I want to install the system right away. And here we have terms of use. So I'll just go ahead and click next. Now here you have an option to rearrange the disk partitions and run the partition tool. I don't need to do this as I want to install using the entire disk. And I see the disk is already selected here. You could select also to encrypt the disk if you chose to do so. Uh, but in my case, I'll just hit next here. And yes, okay to format and use the entire disk. So I'll click yes. Now the system is already installing, but I have to go through some steps still. So because this is a BIOS MBR system, I will install Grub on the MBR. So this option is fine and I will click next. And I'll leave in this window everything to defaults. So you can change accordingly as you wish here. And then click next. Now localization, I'll leave here United States, American English, but I'll change my time zone to Europe. And the city closest to me is Zurich. And I'll change also the local here and click Next. Now I can create a new user. So I'll type in my username and the password. And I create also a root password. And if you do other changes in the live environment and you want to save them, you could actually click this option here to save the live desktop changes. After you're done, you just click next. And now we'll wait for the installation to finish and I'll be back when it's done. So the installation is complete and the box to automatically reboot the system is already checked, which is fine. So I'll click finish. And it asked me to remove the disk. So I'm going to check here on devices and I see the optical disk is already removed. So I am fine to continue. So I'll just hit enter to reboot. And I'll select the first line in the bootloader. So I'll hit enter here. And we are the login prompt. So I'll type in my password. And there you go. Now we have a welcome screen. I will close this up. And actually, MX Linux should have already the VirtualBox guest editions installed. Let's check this up by clicking on View. And as you can see, the auto resize guest display is already selected. That means the guest editions are already active. So let me try to resize the window here. See if it works. And there you go. You see the video is resizing correctly. 
So I'm going to hit now Control F to go full screen. And as you can see, it's everything very small because I have a 4K display here. So I will have to actually scale a little bit the windows here. And to do that, I will go to the menu here under settings. And I go first to appearance and other settings here. I go to scaling two, which is already better. And I click close. Now to take effect, I'll have to log out one time and log in again. Okay, much better now, but there's still one thing I need to do. If I click on, for example, the file manager, you see the borders here are very small and the buttons are very tiny. So there is still something I need to change. So I go here again to the system and here search for windows and under window manager, I'll select here the default HDPI and click close. And now it's much better. So let's pull up the terminal by clicking on MX Linux button here and click on the terminal emulator. And let's update the packages. So we'll type in sudo apt update. We'll put in the password. And we have 116 packages to upgrade. So let's do this by typing in sudo apt upgrade and hit enter. So it's going to take a moment to install. I'll hit enter to continue. And I will be back when it's done. So we came to this point where upgrading is asking us this question here. Package distributor has shipped an updated version and it asks what we want to do. So install the maintainer version or keep the currently installed version. I'm going to actually update this. So I'll type in Y and hit enter. And it's going to take still a moment to finish up the installation. And there you go. So let's reboot the system one time by typing in sudo reboot and hit enter. It's going to take a moment to reboot the machine. And I'll hit enter to start the system again. And there you go. So I'll log in with my username and my password. And there you go. We have the system fully updated. So MX Linux, it's based on an older kernel. If we check this on the terminal, we are going to see it's a 4.19 kernel. It's a little bit older kernel, but it's a very stable kernel. And this is the focus of MX Linux anyway. So this is it guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, make sure you like it by clicking the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of future videos. This really helps us out guys. And if there's anything specific you want me to cover or you have any question, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.